Hi, I'm Thomas with Hive Elements, and here I will introduce the Array Sector Antenna, designed for 5 GHz unlicensed bands. So what's inside the package? A graphical installation guide, the top and the bottom part of the bracket, screws and the pole mount brackets, radio cover, and the antenna itself. All you need to assemble and install the antenna is a single 13mm wrench. Let's look at the R features of the array sector. Its radiation pattern is wide in the azimuth and narrow in the elevation plane. This shape of radiation pattern is good for applications where the customers are spread throughout the coverage area. Thanks to the high gain, the distant customers in the rural areas are easy to reach. The landscape profile should be rather flat or mildly hilly. If you use them in hilly or mountainous regions, the elevation narrow beam will not cover the valleys well. Our array sector antennas are optimized for minimum side lobes, especially in the azimuth plane, thanks to the back shield. Our patented frequency selective surface integrated directly into the antenna body. The structure of the back shield effectively mitigates the parasitic wave traveling along the PCB that would otherwise result into side lobes. Minimized side lobes ensure you transmit and receive the signal only from desired directions, protecting your network from RF noise, the number one problem of unlicensed 5 GHz networks. But it's not only the minimized side lobes that makes array sectors great antennas. Their amazing coverage performance is based on three main components. First, the useful bandwidth of the array sector is really broad. It covers the whole 700 MHz between the Uni 1 and Uni 3 bands, giving you enough bandwidth to optimize the channel usage depending on how crowded the spectrum is. The gain of the array sector is remarkably stable over the whole bandwidth, so changing the channels makes no difference to the signal level. Now you can truly leverage all the channels your radio supports in a reliable way. Third is the stability of the main beam, showing how the gain changes in every direction. It is also very stable over the whole bandwidth, adding to the overall stability of the array sector coverage performance. The array sector antennas are suitable for scenarios where you need to cover a wide sector with a single antenna. Thanks to the back shield, the collocation of array sector antennas is effortless and without limiting self-interference. Thanks to the industry standard radio mounting bracket, you can use Array Sector with all major radio platforms in the industry. Migration between radio platforms is also easy, and the plastic hood protects the radio from environmental influences, a WISP industry standard established by RF Elements. The whole antenna is made of high quality materials, extruded and stamped aluminium to protect the antenna from oxidizing, UV-resistant ABS plastic and stainless steel hardware. The array sector will withstand extreme environmental conditions with temperatures from minus 35 to plus 55 degrees Celsius. The durable build weighs only 3.5 kilograms and has a practical handle. You can clip to a carabiner and then to a harness while climbing a tower. The bracket of the array sector is completely redesigned to ensure extremely easy handling, assembly and tower mounting. Only four M8 screws are needed to assemble the antenna and additional four screws to attach it to the tower. The four big screws have black-colored anti-seize surface coating, effectively protecting the screws from gelling and making the bracket very easy to use. If you want to know more about the coating itself, check out our short video by clicking the link in the corner. When the pole diameter is smaller than 57 mm, install the bracket as shown so the bolts do not protrude too much. If the pole diameter is larger than 57 mm, flip the bracket for the best results. Once you're happy with the alignment and the aiming of the antenna, you can install the radio and you're ready to go. 